Hey guys, it is Viviz. Welcome back to another episode of the Prime series. This is going to be episode two of this um, of this series. I really do um, hope you guys enjoy. Obviously, I hope hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode of the series, and hopefully you enjoy this episode of the Prime series. Now, the current my main current goal for the series is to get money to get my ascensions. Um, I've also been doing a little bit of temple trekking to get me some lumberjack as well, but I've been struggling with that. I did get the lumberjack boots, but it seems to be really, really slow um, to get the lumberjack, you know, the lumberjack set. So let me know in the comments below if you guys know how to get it quicker. Um, otherwise, I'm just bitching it. But um, hopefully, you guys have some sort of answer for me so I can get the lumberjack set quicker. But throughout this video, it's just kind of clips um, over the past few days showing you guys how I've made some of my money. And um, showing you guys a couple of things that I've got throughout the last few days or since the since the first episode. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you did, let me go. Let me know with a like and a comment. Of course, I like comments more than likes. Um, but apart from that, guys, hopefully enjoy this video. Well, hopefully enjoy the video. And um, yeah, enjoy. All right, so welcome back in game, guys. And one of the main things we're going to be doing throughout this series is some PVM, uh, well, PVM-based stuff. So, for example, I'm going to be doing some dungeoneering as well, perhaps. Um, I'm also going to be doing some bosses like uh, Nex, maybe Rise of the Six, and some Calfight King. So, one of the main things you need for that is obviously the overloads. And if I go into my bank really, really quickly, I've obviously got around 100 of each um, six-dose flasks. And I've been farming quite a few torsos as well, so I've got 692 uh, grimy torsos, which is, you know, it's quite a lot, but I need, I do need, I guess, some more of those. But I need a lot of, a lot more herbs, and some of the herbs I'm going to be needing, um, well, I actually don't need that many herbs, come to look at it, but I'm going to be buying some supplies right now for some more overloads. And what I'm going to be doing is using the Enlightenment Aura on Herb Lore, when I'm training Herb Lore to obviously get me some quite a bit of XP because I don't use Enlightenment on anything else. So I'm going to be buying some Super Range potions right now. Super Range, let me get some of these. And I might just skip um, through this quickly just to show you guys how many I bought. So let's begin, shall we? Activate the Enlightenment Aura. And one day and 14 hours. Well, that was a fail. Hey, there we go. Sharima has received a tour of a plate legs drop. Let's have a little look how much it is. Have a little geese at the split, shall we? It's like 13. No, it's like, that's 14 mil a piece, I think. Around 14. Well, it's not too bad, I guess. Not too bad. First drop it next in a little while. So I've been doing QBD for a couple of kills now. Um, so excuse the voice as well. I'm a little bit sick, so I've got a little bit of a head cold. So I do apologize if I sound a little bit, uh, a little bit dodgy. But I'm doing, as you can see on the screen, I've been doing a little bit of QBD, and I did manage to pick up a draconic visage, which is pretty sweet. So I'm gonna quickly take this here, and I'm not sure if it comes up in the chat. Uh, Vivids has achieved, or Vivids, Vivids has got something, um, you know, from the QBD. But I'm going to quickly price check this. This is my first Draconic Visage ever, um, which is pretty, pretty sweet. It's only 1.3 mil, but it's better than nothing. Um, you know, always making a little bit of money at QBD, which is always great. And uh, when I'm always, when I'm always, um, you know, on RuneScape, sometimes I'll just be logged on. Um, and, you know, if I'm not going to be going for, like, full Lumjack or full, you know, some other non-tradable um, skilling booster sets, like, for example, like the Lumberjack, obviously, um, I'll just be doing some QBD just to um, gradually chip away at that, uh, obviously, the um, the money goal, which is going to be to obtain, obviously, full Malevolent, full... Um, basically, all I've got to get is full Malevolent, as well as the Ascensions as well, so that's that's basically my main priority now is just to get as much money as I can um, when I'm not uh, bossing because obviously when all my friends are on I'm going to be doing a lot of bossing as well like that's going to include KK or that's going to include uh, Nex because they're the main two I think we're going to be doing the only one I've really been doing right now is Nex but I do want to learn Calfire King and then hopefully we can get some drug or drops so here we are with um, the first Dragon King Coffer Offer, what, what, what do you actually get? Search, so you get a search one of these every single time you kill the QBD. And it's always nice when you get some rock tails as well, uh, obviously to restock your um, restock your inventory with some good stuff. But we've got some Royal Bolt, some Dehyde, and just this is pretty much a standard, um, standard chest. Hey, that is some juicy, juicy loot. A Royal Frame and 30 Onyx Bolts. Damn. Alrighty, yeah. So I thought I'd just show you guys quickly my setup for QBD, and I quickly lock this. And nice man's one is just chilling here. Me, sir. Just wanted to say that I'm awesome. Cheers, one. Cheers, lad. Subscribe to that dude. <laughs> That's probably the best video bomb ever. Um, so 
Anyway, uh, what I'm going to be showing you guys quickly now is my QBD setup. So if you have a little look at my ability bar, um, actually, quick disclaimer as well. If you guys have anything to add that could improve my QBD experience, um, can you please let me know in the comments below of this, the Prime episode. So if I have a little look at my ability bar, my first four are basics, and I'm actually going to put my the kick ability as my second one because... Hold on a sec. Because kick hits around 3k every single time, so that's quite good for DPS. And the other ones just kind of build up my build up my adrenaline so I can use destroy and assault. And when I ever get the tortured souls, I like to use flurry, which attacks QBD as well as the tortured souls, so I can get my hit points up. I don't use resonance, I use devotion. Um, to stall adrenaline, I use anticipate to stall adrenaline, and I also use freedom to stall adrenaline. Now, now this is the ability bar I also use for next. Um, so that's why I've obviously got resonance there and devotion and sacrifice and all that good stuff as well as berserk because um, berserk you need really need berserk on blood phase if you're duoing or uh, obviously soloing. I wouldn't know if you need it for soloing because I can't solo next. So I thought I'd share with you guys a couple of things that I've just bought and sold. Um, so if I quickly go to my uh, GE history, yesterday I, I put a offer in for uh, Serenic Chaps. I bought them for 12.2 mil. Uh, no, no. What am I talking about? I bought them for uh, 10.2 mil, and I've just been able to sell to sell them to sell them for 11.8 mil. Oh no, 12.8 mil. So I bought them for 10.2 uh, uh, mil and sold them for 12.8. So that's the uh, I think that's a profit of um, 2.6 mil like overnight, so that's pretty good. I'd also bought some pneumatic gloves as well. I'm not actually sure how much pneumatic gloves are, uh, but I managed to get mine for uh, 19 mil. Now, you know, it's quite expensive for a pair of gloves, but every time I die at next when I'm tanking or when I'm doing DPS, I always have to go back to the Dominion Tower and pick up me some... Um, get me the Goliath gloves back. Now, the pneumatic gloves, there really isn't too much of a difference between Goliaths and uh, pneumatic. As you can see, the armor difference is around 6 plus 8. So that's like 14, uh, 14 armor difference as well as a 15 uh, life bonus difference. But, you know, there's really, really not too much. But with pneumatic gloves, I don't actually have to... I'm not sure if these degrade either. I'm pretty sure they don't. But that's always good. I don't actually have to go back to the Dominion Tower and collect me some Goliath gloves every single time I die. But gear-wise, let's have a little look. Um, I absolutely love this setup. It looks so sweet, especially with the bloom of the completionist cape. I've obviously got the Tetsu Helm. Let's see how many charges. Yeah, it's, and there's 47% left. I need to go to the player own house to recharge that. The completionist cape is my baby. Um, the Dragon Rider amulet, which is free from a quest. You've got the dual Dragor rapiers because they're probably the, che the cheapest and most useful Dragors there are. I think you can swap them out for the mauls as, I think, are they mauls? No, they're maces as well, but I do like the look of the drug or rapiers. I've also got the bandos because it's cheap and it doesn't degrade when I die because I die a lot. Pneumatic gloves because they don't degrade. Steadfasts because they don't degrade and I like the look of them. A ring of vigor to build up adrenaline. I could probably switch that out for a warrior ring. And penance for prayer as well as sign of life. Now, I'm not sure if I it would be better off using vampirism. But uh, that's basically my setup. Little little look at the inventory as well. Got obviously overload prayer and you'll super anti fire. Um, Steel of Legends scroll. No 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 no. I need the healing. The what are they? The healing or something healing healing aura scrolls for the unicorn pouch as well as obviously the unicorn. Um, because when I die, if I have a full invent, if I have a full yak, that's just a waste of all my food. Um, but that's basically. It's basically my setup for QBD. Um, if you have any criticism, uh, let me know in the comments below. And um, yeah, thanks.